And we are past the bulk of the rain, thank goodness, but all that water left behind some serious issues for businesses. Fox Carolina's Michelle Zhu is near the Swamp Rabbit Trail for us tracking down some of those trouble spots. While we wait for the waters to recede, there is still a lot to clean up. Here at El Thrifty near the Reedy River, railroad ties have shifted in the parking lot or have been moved completely as they were picked up by the water. A parked car now here with debris all within the tires, we're told it had to be rescued from flooded waters. The grease trap could be seen flipped over in the parking lot and one of the dumpsters washed away and landed at the neighboring soccer field. I was watching the, the rain gauges. We had nine inches of rain in 72 hours. Uh, we've got surveillance cameras here, so I was watching the river come up. Drew Parker, developer of the Commons, says shops here sustained minor water damage to storage and construction equipment. Crews spent the morning hauling out soggy cardboard boxes. Thankfully, we sustained some minor uh, water intrusion, but nothing major. Most of the commons was spared from any water damage at all. And just down the road, joggers came back out to see a raging reedy river. Wildlife could be spotted taking advantage of a field now underwater, and city workers could be seen picking up and removing barriers to reopen the roads. But many people are just glad to welcome the clear skies again. And the manager here at El Thrifty tells me they'll have to spend today restoring leaks within the building. They expect to get back in business tomorrow. In the meantime, people should use caution and have patience as crews continue to restore the roads and pick up any fallen trees. Reporting in Greenville, Michelle Zhu, Fox Carolina News.